Uh, yeah, I'm Jeroen Kaiser. Uh, I'm a usability designer within, uh, um, this, for this project and actually multiple products. Um, I uh, do make sure that it's easy to use for people, which is what people think about usability, but it's also about the fact that it's safe and effective to use, which is a big portion with medical products, is to make sure that they can really use it uh, to have clinical effect and also just that it's super uh, safe when they're using it. Yeah, so my name is uh, Michael Heesemans. Uh, I used to work at uh, Philips Design. Uh, as a service designer, uh, but now I transitioned into the role of Venture Lead uh, for a new project that we have uh, initiated. A actually, when I was young, when my teacher asked me what I wanted to do, I was six years old, I said I want to be an inventor, I want to create new things. Way back when I wanted to be a theoretical physicist and uh, take us to space. Um, when I realized that that's a really, really challenging problem and might not happen in my lifetime, I decided I would switch. I switched then into uh, computer science and technical kind of things, and I realized I actually really care about the human side of technology. I want to create new things that are meaningful for people, and what I always like, if you make something that somebody is using it, is actually uh, getting a good feeling for it, and it, it makes sense for them, and that is, that is my goal. And when it comes to your health, uh, you want to make sure that everybody is monitored uh, in a safe way. What we see that there are multiple products out there now uh, who look after, who monitor patients outside the hospital. Many of these devices are actually quite complicated uh, to use. Uh, they require that you do Bluetooth pairing with your mobile phone. Sometimes you need to do charging. Uh, sometimes uh, you need to connect cables or read instructions. So we wanted to make something that is really is simple to use. Yeah, they had come up with this core idea. They would gotten the technology down and down pat. Um, but now it was to make it a real product. Um, we have to do also look at the, the usability of all the, the other people that have to use it, which are the doctors and nurses who have to see the data when it, which comes out and also to be able to apply it quickly and, and easily so that the patient really has to do nothing and can just completely recover at home and focus on their recovery. So this is the sensor that you put on uh, here on your uh, chest uh, and basically our philosophy in that story was that patients at home don't need to do anything. We stick it on and they don't need to do pairing, no charging, no mobile phone, no Bluetooth. They can just live their life and focus on their recovery and don't need to do anything to make it work. My focus was really indeed more on uh, making it a, a product you could put in, into the field, so uh, which was more about the, the context, how they use it, uh, understanding uh, uh, yeah, that it fits into the workflow and those kind of things. So the Philips mission is indeed to contribute to the lives of three billion uh, people. Uh, we're now uh, reaching the point that we are going to put the health dots on first patients. It will not be three billion, our first test will be 30. Eh? So it will start small, but we do hope that we can uh, scale up and that uh, looking after people at home will also continue to grow and contrib contribute to that mission. The design process for me really starts with the people, the people that you're building for. Um, you have to understand how they live, how they work, how, how the contact is of, of whatever uh, challenge you're trying to address. Uh, without those insights, um, yeah, I don't know where to start. So that's one of the things I really appreciate about uh, working in design, at least in this portion of uh, what the things that I work on now, I get to work on the end results of products to make sure that they actually get to the market. So uh, uh, I'm lo really looking forward that this one as well is going to be on the market. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's already been uh, in some tr in trials and some clinical trials and those kind of things. So I have already had sort of a feeling what it's like and a bit of engagement that way. But this is when it becomes real. This is when it can help the most people. Yeah. So for the, the real product, the one that's going to be uh, so that we can use across the, the country uh, is going to be uh, in the beginning of next year uh, is when, when we can uh, see the health thoughts on actual patients. So, um, yeah, uh, and I'm actually right now at the end process, really busy with really testing the, the devices and really testing with doctors and nurses to make sure that it's, it, it works perfectly for them. If you bring a medical product to the market, uh, part of the challenge is indeed to make the design but a large part of the challenge is actually also to do the usability testing to make sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. uh, clinicians can use it, they don't make mistakes. The patients can use it, they don't um, hamper the functionality of the product. And a lot of 
of that effort is actually going into uh, doing those testing to make sure that medical products are safe. That is what Jeroen is doing a lot to uh, set up these formal tests to make sure uh, that products can be used in a safe way.